Disruptors are probably the most commonly used weapons in Star Trek. They are the primary weapons of the Federation rivals such as the Klingons and the Romulans, but they're also used by the Brain Cardassians and many others throughout the Quadrant. Let's talk about ship-mounted disruptor weapons, what the hell they are in physics, and their tactical use. So, what is a disruptor? Disruptor is a directed energy weapon that disrupts the molecular bonds of objects and breaks them down. Well, that's a very generic definition, isn't it? Because even high heat will break molecular bonds. A disruptor is actually a very generic term for any energy weapon in the Star Trek universe that has this ability. In fact, a phaser is a type of disruptor. Now, phasers use a nadion particle to break down matter, but disruptors can use nadions as well. The effect is the same across the board, the disruption of the molecules and matter. So technically, you could even define a high-powered laser as a disruptor, but I wouldn't go quite that far. Perhaps the most crude and basic form of disruptor would be a direct fire plasma weapon. An electromagnetic field forms a bubble or tunnel containing the plasma, where the heat and free electrons can disrupt the molecular bonds of the target. A more destructive disruptor would use a similar method as above, but instead of plasma, something like antimatter could be used. The positrons or antiprotons would annihilate other forms of atoms they come into contact with. And then of course, even more exotic matter that is beyond our science might be used, such as the nadions used in phasers, gravitons or bosons, all of which are the purview of a civilization that understands physics on a level that allows for faster than light travel. And now for their usage. I speculate that the Romulans used a plasma-based disruptor in their early days, as they tended towards plasma-based weapons. But for the Klingons, the disruptor was their primary weapon, and although more crude than phasers, they had battle-tested them so much that it was a very reliable space weapon. Disruptors are usually fired in bolts or blasts, but they could be fired as beams. It's likely that the longer-range disruptors are seen as beams because the energy has to travel faster than the eye can see to hit anything in the vastness of space. Ships with cloaking devices tend to attack at very close range to maximize damage, so they use more of a disruptor bolt type weapon. Occasionally a ship would fire a beam or a bolt from the same weapon emplacement. Of course, this is a visual effects oversight, but it could also be that a disruptor has two different settings or modes. One for strong yet inaccurate bursts, the other for weaker but more accurate beams. Well that's all I have for disruptor weapons. I have a lot of plans in the works for the channel. Very soon we'll be reaching 20,000 subscribers. My intent is to release a CG visual representation of the alternate universe Four Years War between the Federation and the Klingon Empire before the end of the year. And then after that, I'll be diving into some CG representations of the battles in the Thrawn trilogy of Star Wars. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate the new patrons on patreon.com slash resurrected. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time. Let the passion come out. I'm the dreamer, dreamer. Time slows down. When I am singing my, my heart's true song. Comes when I'm dreaming.